Young at Heart by Pam Young. I'm torn. I'm torn by what happened today. It all started when we got in the Subaru and headed to downtown Woodland, Washington, when Terry said, "Uh Uh-oh, I'll bet there's a mouse in the car. Look at those pumpkin seed shells on the floorboard. He pointed to a little pile of shells on my side of the car. Now, I'm a big fan of Mickey Mouse, but he doesn't blaze through space when you least expect him to. It's that scurrying that mice do, like a flasher at a wedding that scares me to death. And the thought of a mouse in the car made me ready to spring like, well, a set mouse trap. Where do you think he is? I asked, as if my husband were a mouse behavioralist. I don't know. He could be back at the house getting more pumpkin seeds. That thought calmed me as we drove into town. Just as we pulled into the bank parking lot, I sneezed. No, I'm not allergic to mice. And reached for a Kleenex in the glove compartment. That's when I saw it. The mouse had made a nest out of the Kleenex. I screamed, slammed the glove compartment door shut, wiped my nose on my sleeve, and took some deep, deep cleansing breaths to calm myself. Terry was hysterically laughing as I continued to try to regain my composure. Oh my God, she, I decided it was a girl, is in that nest. I know it. I just know it. She's probably got babies in there. Or if she's back at the house like you said, now she's probably upset because we've driven off in her new RV. Oh, and if she does have babies, they're going to be hungry pretty soon, and since she's a lactating mother, her little breasts are going to get all engorged while we're gallivanting off to town to see what's new at Walmart. Terry just kept laughing, which helped my mood a little bit. It's hard to know what to do when you're torn. See, I'm an animal lover, but I also eat them. I don't wear fur, but I have a leather purse. I like Mickey, but we own mouse traps and decon. I'm torn between snuffing this little four-legged cheese eater or seeing it as a possible opportunity to make trillions of dollars like Walt did. If I could get over the fact that mice scurry, maybe I could share our car with this new little family. Mice have babies every six weeks, and those babies can have babies when they're six weeks old. Maybe I could journal their life on the road. When I got back home, Terry opened the glove compartment, I couldn't look, and took out the nest. After a thorough inspection, he concluded the shredded Kleenex was not the nest, just the building materials for the nest that must be somewhere else, in the car. So I sit torn between decon and one of those signs to put in the car window that says, Babies on Board. Adore who you are. Adore where you are. Adore who you're with.